Moving on now, reports coming out of Syria say al qaeda linked militants in the ancient Christian village of Malula have forced one Christian to convert to Islam at gunpoint. Witnesses from the village also say militants from the notorious al-Nusra Front have also executed another Christian who refused to change his religion. The witnesses made the revelations while attending the funeral ceremony in the capital Damascus of three other Christians who lost their lives after the militants attacked Malula last week. The village has been the scene of intense fighting between the Syrian army and the foreign-backed insurgents in recent days. Well, residents say the insurgents attacked their homes and churches shortly after they entered the town. As fighting continues in parts of Syria between government forces and foreign-backed militants, the active role of al-Qaeda linked groups, particularly the notorious al-Nusra Front, in the Syrian conflict is becoming more and more obvious. This video shows what appears to be al-Qaeda linked militants from Caucasus who have infiltrated Syria through a neighboring country. Taking advantage of the U.S. threats to attack Syria under the pretext of August 21st chemical attack near Damascus, al-Qaeda insurgents have zeroed in on several regions inhabited by Christian Syrians. Those regions include the town of Melula, north of the capital Damascus, the district of Wadi al-Nasara in the flashpoint city of Homs, and the town of Eriha. Al-Nusra Front is said to be in control of Melula. Grizzly reports have emerged from the town about atrocities committed by the group there. <laughs> Poor bearers carrying the coffins of people killing Melula. Estimates said that thousands of Al Qaeda elements are now fighting alongside other militants against the Syrian army. But the United States has denied this and it still insists that the role of al-Qaeda linked groups in Syria has been exaggerated. The U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry last week told the Senate panel that there is no al-Qaeda in Syria. The Russian president angrily responded to the claim by saying, A congressman asks Mr. Kerry, is there al-Qaeda? People say they have gotten stronger. He says, no, I say officially they aren't there. The main combat unit, the so-called al-Nusra, is a unit of al-Qaeda. They know about this. It wasn't pleasant for me to see this. Well, we communicate with them and assume that they are decent people. He lies openly. He knows that he lies. This is sad. Syrian foreign minister has warned that any U.S. attack on Syria will end up strengthening al-Nusra front and turn the Arab country into a base for al-Qaeda. The U.S. has time and again described al-Qaeda and its offshoots as America's number one enemy. Many observers and politicians within the U.S. have warned the Obama administration about its policy on Syria. They say any U.S. intervention in Syria will benefit al-Qaeda and insurgents who pose a serious threat to America's national security. So far, the warnings have fallen on deaf ears at the White House.